Hi parents, so this is a Scholastic website that's free. I think it's really cool. I used it last week during our Zoom session um, or the week before. And I'll provide the link for you. It's classroommagazines.scholastic.com. And then when you scroll up, you'll see um, that there's several weeks, week one, week two, week three, week four. And what it does is they give you different books to look at and compare and contrast a fiction book to a nonfiction book. I shared this one with some of the students that were on a Zoom session last week. Here's Come on Rain, Rainy Weather Days. So I'm just going to take you through one of them and show you how it works. It's very simple. So if you want to go, you can just click on Take Me There. And the first thing it does is it brings up the two books that you're working with. Um, the first book is Fiction. And the second book is always nonfiction. You want to watch the story, click watch the story. I turned the volume down so you can hear me. It will load the book for you. You can make it large by clicking in the little square here or minimize it also. Okay, it will bring up the book. Your child um, can read along with it. They read it out loud. I like that. They read it out loud and they provide the words for your child to see in the pages. Okay, when you're finished with that, then you can go to the next one, which is read the book. This is our nonfiction book, and this one's a little different. It, um, you click on the arrows to turn the page, and your child reads. Now, the cool part about this is, if they come to a word that's highlighted, they can click on the highlighted word and then click on the e puddles, small pools of water on the ground. And it gives them a definition of what that word is. You just keep clicking to the side to keep going on. So when you finish this book, then you can go to word match. This is in the puzzlers part. And this is very self-explanatory. Read the clue below. Click on the word it matches. Match all the words to uncover a picture. Tiny drops. Puddles. Clouds. Flowers. Droplets. Nice work. A tool used to measure how much rain has fallen. So, once they click on their answers, it tells them if they got it right. If they get it wrong, then it tells them to try again. Puddles. Look at these three pictures. What happened first? Drag that picture to the yellow box. So the children would learn, read the clues. The girl put on her bathing suit. The girls dance in the rain with their mothers. The girls saw green ra rain clouds rolling into the sky. If they drag one and drop it, ooh, that one was wrong. And so they would try again to get them in the correct order. Once they have them all in the correct order, then you can go on to dive deeper. This. If you click the first box, it just gives them lots of different places they can go um, to learn about the weather and rain. And then the last one is Meet the Creators, and you can learn more about the author and the illustrator in this area. If you want to go back, you can click, click on a category you can click or click on the feature to begin. You can click the home button and it will take you back and then you can choose different categories that you'd like to. Maybe your children want to learn about people and places. People and places. And then each one of these gives them a fiction and a nonfiction book. So really cool, um, a little fun interaction for the kids to do. And um, it also gives them the opportunity to do to listen to it in Spanish. So I hope you'll take advantage of this. This is an assignment on Friday, but um, any other days, it's just there for your children to read um, and utilize for fun and extra enrichment. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.